What's the rating for this show? R? R? No, that's for the pirate show. Pirate shows are always rated R. <laughs> Welcome Hi. to Furry Migration 2022. Yay! We have survived another, whoa. <clears throat> he turned me on, he meant it. <laughs> We've survived another year and we're gonna survive a lot more this community is resilient, which is another word for stubborn. We are hardy, which is another word for well-fed. And we take care of each other. So thank you all for masking in public, for getting your shots. Everyone has to make sure they get their shots. And hopefully, we're going to live this thing down. Okay? Things are going to get better. Hogs are thinking years ago. Uh, there, were a group of, there were a group of furries sitting in a Perkins in the western suburbs talking about, we should have a con. And at that point, the number of people in the room who had ever worked on a con was one. Now, we have dozens of people on staff from all over the country. We have people who've been doing this for years, people who worked at MFF, Anthrocon, other cons here in the Twin Cities in other fandoms. And that's what it takes to come together and make these cons happen. Fray Migration is a nonprofit convention. None of us get rid. I think you overdid it. None of us get rich doing this, okay? We pay for our own hotel rooms, we do all the work. And I know that sounds like a lot of work, but it is worth it, okay? I went to my first con in 1980 something or other, and I'm still here, okay? This is a lot of fun. This is really meaningful. When I watch people out there enjoying each other, enjoying themselves, having fun, meeting best friends they've never encountered before, it's worth every second. It is absolutely worth it. So I wanna take a quick moment. Could everyone who has volunteered at least one hour for this con this year so far, stand up, please. Okay? <laughs> More, please. Sit down and be comfortable. You've worked enough. All right, and the weekend's not over. We're just getting started, okay? We're back at the Hyatt once again. I'm, I'm pleased to let you know the Hyatt uh, came to me this morning and said, so, how long can we keep you guys? And I said, well, you give me the building free, we'll sign right now. <laughs> Conversations are ongoing. Alrighty, what do I need to tell you folks about? Let me see here. Uh, the ball pit's been canceled. <laughs> I love you folks. Um, okay, uh, at the moment, I want to point out that we are not our own corporation. We are not just a convention. Furry Migration is the convention. It's the big shiny thing we do all year. But we are also a community. Uh, we started out running picnics. And that turned into the organization that owns and operates Furry Migration called Minnesota Furs. May I present to you our current president, Rico. Rico, they're over there. Is your mic off? My mic is off. Oh, there it is. Hey guys, I'm Rico. Who's excited to be here? Did he raise his hand? Okay, good. Uh, yeah, so as Charles said, um, furry migration is a convention, but furry migration wouldn't be possible, well first, without you guys. So let's hear it for you guys. But also, it wouldn't be possible without its nonprofit organization as the parent, Minnesota Furs. Um, Minnesota Furs is a 501c3, so, Charles, do you get paid? <laughs> Have you seen my hotel bill? <laughs> it's crazy. Uh, I'm not paid, nobody here is paid, we're all volunteers, so we're entirely volunteer driven. Mm -hmm. um, it's only possible because of our volunteers and without it, we wouldn't be here today. So, for those that stood up, thank you, mm -hmm. and I'm sure We'll hopefully have more standing up by closing. Working on it. 
Um, but uh, if you have fun at Prairie Migration, it doesn't have to stop here. We do events throughout the whole year. Uh, we do picnics, like uh, Charles mm -hmm. said. We meet at Perkins, because we're from Minnesota. Of course, we meet up at Perkins and Caribou. Um, so uh, if you want to do more and get more involved with us, mnfers.org, uh, volunteer, whatever. Um, we, it means a ton to us. Um, so just a quick plug, our next event is uh, October 1st at Black Hawk State Park. Mm -hmm. um, just come, eat some burgers, meet some new friends, meet some familiar friends that you met here. Um, and mm -hmm. come join us. Okay. Did, I miss, did I miss anything, Charles? Oh, there's more for a min first, but you'll find out at closing ceremonies. Oh, oh. I'm not aware of that Trust one. Trust me. Cool. So, all right. Thanks, guys. And you know, when it comes to volunteering, there are opportunities all around the hotel all weekend. So if you see something going on and you think you might want to lend a hand, say hi and ask if they need anything. Uh, especially if you're in con suite up on the fifth floor, which is a great social space, or anywhere near programming, because we always need help. Speaking of help, we don't exist in a vacuum. This is not the only fandom in the universe. You knew that, right? <sighs> okay. No. We have, in this hotel, gaming conventions, science fiction conventions, anime conventions, three of them, I think, okay? And we work with Doctor Who. Uh, wait, are they here now? No, the tattoo convention. The tattoo convention, okay. This hotel also used to host a thing called Shibari Con. I asked what that was and they said I wasn't old enough, so <laughs> I'm not asking. Um, but one of the things that happens is it's great if people from these different fandoms can work together, okay? And there's an organization designed to do precisely that, and they're called the Geek Partnership Society. You may have seen their charity auction over in the dealer's room, and they have a function space up in Northeast Minneapolis. They provide resources, networking, experience, a facility. We host many of our meetings over there um, for the con and for the organization, and they also need your help. So if you're curious about what a cross-fandom organization would be like, stop in the dealer's room, Talk to them. Find out what they're up to. A, they're a great bunch of people, and they do a lot of neat stuff. The biggest thing they need is more people. So this is a chance, much like our picnics, this is a chance to hang out with we other fans throughout the year. Okay, Because do you just want one weekend a year where you can hang out with people like this? The idea is let's do it year-round. Let's do it all year, or at least every month. So let's see what we can do to make that happen. Uh, in that vein, I want to thank you for coming to the hotel. Uh, I want to point out a couple things. The hotel restaurant is open after five. They have a breakfast brunch that is much better than it was last year. I ate there this morning. And um, have any of you noticed a new diner across the street? Yes. Has anyone eaten there yet? Yes. All right, if you haven't, get your fuzzy little butt over there. Or, depending on your pursuit, your big fuzzy butt. If that's up to you. Um, Nickel and Diner is a uh, organization uh, owned and operated within the queer community. They have been in this neighborhood for 11 years now. They've just moved into a new expanded space where they have sent us the message. Hey, furry migration, could you please tell the pursuiters that they are more than welcome to come over in costume. They have long been a favorite of mine, and in fact, I think you'll find most of the con staff are fond of the joint. So if you get a chance to get over there, I cannot recommend it. Or I cannot but recommend it. I should try sleeping. The two meals in one shower I can do. It's the six snaps that I can't seem to find time for. Um, alrighty, I was given a piece of paper. And that piece of paper had the name of the person representing um, the Tiger Sanctuary that is our charity this year. Is anyone from that charity in the room, please? Because that piece of paper is safely in my hotel room. Okay, we were expecting them this afternoon. So, uh, stop by and bid on the art. They've got some fantastic stuff over there. 
and they've been operating to help animals for many years now. One of the many attractions at a con are our guests of honor. Now, I've been too busy to figure out who they are and how to mispronounce their names. So, in order to introduce them and mispronounce them, may I present one of our friends, Giza. Giza. Ah, there he is. <laughs> I had to unlock my phone. Sorry about that. You had to figure out how to unlock your phone. Yeah, I got my notes on my phone. Are you phone. smarter than your phone? Not today, I'm not. Talk to them. Uh, thank you, Charles. Um, I'd like to bring out the first of our guests. They are a rather prolific DJ and performer. They've been doing both for over 15 years. I'd like to bring out Avian Invasion. <laughs> You all right? <laughs> that takes a lot out of me. That was three steps. I, well, you know, there's stairs. I'm used to landing on things, not climbing them. Well, speaking Nobody of... laughed at that. Thank you. It was not funny. <laughs> speaking of playing things, I understand you're going to be DJing at this con. Yes. In fact, I am one of 10 DJs that's going to be playing this con. <laughs> and all of you will be here for all of them, except for Rekka. Rekka's not in the room, I'm gonna get away with that one. <laughs> yes! All right. Uh, I, however, am on tomorrow night at midnight, uh, right before some, some other bird. Um, I forget his name. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, it's DJ Hawk. Ah, yeah. <laughs> he is gonna hit me, because he's right backstage. Uh, but <laughs> all of you will be there as well? Yes. All right. Uh, I'm also leading a few panels, by the way, on turning your art into a business. It's a three-part panel series. One of them is today, one of them is tomorrow, one of them is Sunday. So check your schedules if you're interested in going from hobby to actually doing this full time. I can't make that happen, but I can help. So hopefully, I'll see you there. Thank you so much. Thank you. And the next person I'd like to bring out is a very talented artist. She drew the art on the con book. She drew the art on all the con badges. So I would like to bring out the rogues. Thank you so much. And I understand you're doing a drawing panel later this evening. Yeah, I'm doing a panel called Drawing for Self-Healing at 7.30 p.m. in the Regency. Excellent, excellent. Thank you so much. If you would like to get to know our guests better, there will be a Meet the Guests of Honor panel immediately following opening ceremonies in panel room A at 5 p.m. And that's all I have. Back to you, Charles. <laughs> They've given me an audience and no adult supervision. <laughs> <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, <clears throat> this is a very serious matter, don't you think? Oh, okay. So it's not serious. I'm going to introduce you to our programming and events director, O'Hawk. Hey, really? Would someone turn Hawk on, please? I'm not going to do it again. Please. Thank you. Yes, it is programming. How are you guys doing today? That was weak. Let's try this again. How y'all doing today? That's what I'm talking about. This is the kind of energy that our DJs need. This is the kind of energy that our first suitors need. This is the kind of energy that we all need. Can I get a hell yeah? Hey! That's what I'm talking about. Now, we've got a lot of different events that are going on this weekend. We've got our dance competitions. We've got a wonderful set of different panels. We've got a bunch of things like first suiting in action, our new, a new event that we're trying for the first year. We've got our floor wars. Excuse me. No, I said it right. Floor wars which will be here on Sunday. We've got dance competition tomorrow. We've got F gear tonight. And if you know what that is, you know it's going to be a good time. Because our 18 plus dance is always a good time. We've got some of the best DJs that we've ever had here. And it is going to be a sick experience. But you will not get sick because you're all going to be wearing masks. That was a joke. It was a bad joke, but clearly, you know, I, I got to work on the timing. Hey, I got a question about F gear. Oh, no. So if someone wants to come and dance at F gear, yes. they need to have a badge and, and your ID. So in order to check IDs, we need some volunteers 
to help check IDs at the door for a portion of the dance. Okay? Talk to Hawk or myself to set it up. We need your help. You can put a little help into making sure we stay safe so we don't get in any trouble. Then you can spend the rest of the time dancing your fannies off. Do people still say fanny? I, honest to God, don't know. Okay, fine. <laughs> I can't use any of the other words. I, I'm not going to lie to you, and I'm, this is 100% honest. I'm legitimately trying to find one that will work that doesn't sound like something that came out of the 1950s. Fuzzy, fuzzy little butts. Fuzzy little butts. Or fuzzy big butts. We talked about that earlier. Well, I mean, fuzzy big butts, you know, I like fuzzy big butts. And I you cannot, cannot lie. lie. Yeah, uh-huh. Oh, God. Welcome to pun, everybody. But I honestly can't, I, I hope you guys are excited. I hope you guys are ready for a really good time. It should be amazing. And I want to say thank you guys for coming to Furry Migration. Charles, it's all back to you. Huh, what? Hi. How, much, how, how many of you got more than six hours of sleep last night? I don't see any hands, so okay. Then again, I can't see much of anything. Let's see, who have I got back here that I haven't embarrassed? Whoa! All right. I started attending and volunteering at cons in 19... Anyway. Um, back when I had all my hair, okay? Back when Reagan was president. And I've been a con chair a number of occasions. So it's always fun to introduce some poor sot who's doing it who isn't me. All right, I'm going to introduce one of our co-chairs for this year's convention, Bulan. And whose fault is it that I'm chairing this convention? You said yes. I, I did. All right, that, fine. Is, that is correct. Hello, everybody. Are we all excited to be here again? I know I am. Uh, I'm Bulan, one of the two co-chairs uh, co uh, for Furry Migration. Um, Leganer and myself took over as con chairs January of 2020, which was a wonderful time to get a convention. Did, did you, a pilot for a major airline, almost introduce yourself as one of the co-pilots? Did I hear that correctly? You heard nothing. Ah, okay, fine. Uh, so, uh, we took over uh, as con chairs in January of 2020, and they said, here is your convention, now shut it down. Um, yeah. Last year was our first kind of full year getting to do this. This is our second year. We're really excited to be here. We're really excited to see everybody back here. So thank mm -hmm. you, everybody, for showing up. Um, thank you. I brought notes. Um, Charles mentioned this a little bit at the beginning, and I'd like to repeat this again. Um, this is a community event. We are here for you all. You all are here for us, for the event that we put on. And we're so excited that we're able to host an event that you all get to experience. But one of the things is that we're volunteers. Uh, we're doing this because we enjoy the event. I, I really enjoy getting to see everybody that's here, everybody having a good time and all that kind of stuff. It, and that's, that's true for all of our staff. We do it because we enjoy getting to step back from the event for a second, see what we're putting on, seeing everybody enjoying it. it it's, it's rewarding to us. One of the things is, Attending these events and being able to experience part of the community is great, but being a part of that community, giving back into the convention, uh, volunteering is how we run this. You know, we talk about being staff, that's, that's just volunteer with extra steps. Yeah. And so you don't have to jump into, I need to be a, a head of a department or something, or you don't need to have prior experience. I didn't when I started volunteering for this convention its very first year, and now I'm here. Um, it's just, it's something that I really enjoyed. We have people that staff for a year and they say this was fun, but it's not for me. And that's fine. Mm -hmm. They, they provided something to the convention and we love it. Um, there's people that volunteer enough to be staff, but they just really enjoy volunteering. And so yep. that's, that's what they do. And we still, we appreciate every bit of that. So if you're looking for something to do for maybe an hour or so during one of the days, stop by the volunteer desk and, and offer some help, give back into this community. And, and help become, help grow the community into something bigger than it is. Mm -hmm. um, talking about things being a little bit bigger than, than they were last year. Who is tired, I, hush. Who is what? tired of hearing the phrase supply chain issues? Yes, thank you. Unfortunately, due to supply chain issues, 
and, and other things. Um, we're a little bit limited on the merch that we have. The other part of that is we plan for kind of the growth that we've been doing every year. We bought merch planning for the growth that we had the previous years. Mm -hmm. And then more of you kept showing up. Let me give you an idea of how bad it, bad it is. We had 1127. 1146. 1146 people attend last year's convention. When pre-registration closed earlier this month, we had 1147 pre-reg. And it's only gonna get worse, I mean bigger. So we broke our attendance record before the convention even started. And I challenge you. Let's make, hold on, let's make that a tradition. Please. Okay? Every year. So uh, with that, one of our biggest, um, uh, one of our shortest points on merch is the t-shirts. So mm -hmm. if you are a super sponsor, you have a uh, coupon in your bag, to go take to uh, the con store in Dealer's Den and pick up your shirt. If you're a sponsor, if you're a sponsor that is local, your shirts will be available for pickup at the Minnesota First Picnic on October 1st. If you're a sponsor and you are not local, your shirts will be shipped to you. We have some shirts available for purchase in the, merch, in the con store in Dealer's Den. If you are local, please do not purchase it there. We will have them at the picnic. We'll make them available at the oval meets uh, for at least a few meets after so that you can get them there. That will leave some of them available for the people that are not local. Um, we should be set up to take pre-orders if we run out of what we have and you would like to have them shipped to you. Um, so those are options. But again, if you are local, if you're a sponsor, uh, please pick them up at the picnic. Otherwise, we're going to ship them out to sponsors. And then if you are local at the picnics and the oval meets, they'll be available. So thank you for that. Um, parking. So, uh, if you are staying here in the Hyatt and you are in the Furry Immigration room block, if your room is booked in the block, the ticket that you got, if you parked in the lowering ramp here, that ticket that you got, take it to the front desk and validate that parking on the room. That will cut the rate down to $15 a day and give you in and out privileges. So you can scan uh, the ticket to leave and then scan it back to come in and, and then it just charges to the room. Uh, that's an amazing deal. Actually, when it yeah. initially posted out on social media, I jumped on and said, oh, this was an error. And they said, no, 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 it's, it's, it's actually true. right. The Hyatt loves having us here. I keep telling you this. It's, I'm happy for it. Uh, and lastly, for me, um, can I get a wandering host front and center, please? Any wandering host? I hear I, him I, coming. I don't, I, the wandering, oh, there's a victim. So, uh, for those of you, as you wander, as you are walking around, you will see uh, these staff in green vests. These are our wandering hosts. Eyes and ears in operations, but they're also here to help you. They're hosts for you all. If you have any questions, how do I find this? When is this panel? I'm having trouble with something. These are the people that ask. They have a radio direct line to operations. Additionally, if you have any issues, operations is across the hall from here. Those are the two good starting places you have any issues or any questions and we can help you from there sound good yeah. thank you folks. thanks everyone that's all I have so I've seen you in a variety of outfits over the years yes everything from a fox to a walking watermelon to an otherwise respectable airline pilot okay. sometimes when are you gonna show up on stage looking like one of them because I know you are. I can see, among other things, I can see the collar under your collar. We'll get there. Uh-huh. Come, come to closing. I dare you to wear something outlandish at closing. Okay. I dare you to wear something more outlandish than what I will be wearing at closing. I know that is a tough bar to beat. <laughs> come, to, come to closing and bring sunglasses. <laughs> All right. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, love. My tablet says I am not authorized. Okay, there, now it works. You didn't see that. All right. What have we got? Okay, so 
news updates. Where's the hotel? Where's the con? Is there anyone backstage I haven't embarrassed yet? No. Okay, good. I want to make sure I got all of them. I love these people. Um, this con is a little family. All right, it's a slightly large family. My partner and I joke we decided not to raise kids. And instead, we've been raising conventions for 25 years now. Because it's about you. No, it's all about you. And I am grateful for every single one of you. Now, until I see you again at 4.30 on Sunday, go forth, be wonderful to each other, and do stuff you can't talk about at work on Monday. <laughs> and don't break the hotel. Good night, everybody. Opening ceremonies. Coming up next, it's the first suit games starting at 7.30. If you're a first suitor and want to participate in the game, make sure you show up by, you guessed it, 7.15.